And then I tell you what you touch the foot. The guy that you is hot. The guy that you house task. But in the year, he can be dealing with the matters. Anyway, I lied. I should really call this the a factorizing video. Eh? I mean, the video a little quadratics to get started. But I should really call it a factorizing video. But we'll focus on quadratics and I'll just do it quickly. So, you know, now, January maths exams is reputedly in um, maybe 10 days. Yeah, boy, 10 days. Uh, just making sure I like for real. I'll press like on the video one time. If you're watching this video and you don't know who I am, I'm Kurt Spring. I'm a maths teacher. Um, you can check out all my other videos on YouTube. And what I'm going to do is some some quick live sessions to help prepare students for the Jan exams. As we get closer to the exam, we may do some longer sessions, full pass paper, that kind of thing, long marathon sessions, stay up in the night. Just blaze it for the exams, right? Why is any chat if you doing exams in January? We're gonna start just now. One other thing I had to say, follow me on Instagram on at Cohen Springer. And you see this? The student hub. This is my online school. We offer C second keep subjects. So just jump in. Um, and you, you could join by WhatsApp in. Let me just print, let me just print this. Let me just print this. I'm gonna just plug the student out here. WhatsApp this number one eight six eight seven eight four zero six one nine. Five plus in front if you can get to WhatsApp this number and um, join the classes. So a lot of people here might be from my classes as well. Best class only. Press like on the video. Let me get started. So this technically. Yeah, it's a little quadratic vibe looking in it, but this is not this is not quadratics. You're not going to use a quadratic principle to solve this. But I'm still going to do it anyhow. The reason I know is the reason I know you don't need to bring out your quadratic guns and thing is because it's not in the general form ax squared plus bx plus c. And I'm seeing a distinct variable that repeating, well, the h squared and the h doing it here, but there's no plus c. So I could just do normal, there's no, there's no constant. I could just do a normal factorizing. Look, I have the year and month right here, Jan 2020, because I know that's the favorite thing to see. Yeah, man, I see the paper because I have it right here on my phone. So I could just do a normal factorizing here. I could just say 5, 12, no common factors there. What's common? What is common? There's an H in both of them, so I can like come out my brother. H5, H minus 12G. That is the best you could do. All you get that? It's showing real clean here. 5H minus. Well done, trippy squeaks. What a name. No, the paper showing perfectly. Why is in the chat if it's showing clear? Ministry of Education in the chat, yes. Why is in the chat if you all seen it clear? So just boost up the quality of your stream, change to make sure you have seen it in the full quality. Um, 2x squared minus x squared minus 6. This, my friends, this, ladies and gentlemen, is a quadratic equation. Let me take it to a whole new page. This could be a page by himself. I just screenshot it there. We're going to take it to a new page. Boom. A lot of people, when I read my live videos, they'll be like, sir, you're talking to people too much. Just jump down to the question, ting, ting, ting. But when you're in the live, it doesn't feel it. But if you're watching a live video afterwards, and the live video is eight hours. A tip you could use, put it, you can speed it up, or just watch one of my shorter videos. So 2x squared minus x minus 6, don't forget to press like, people. 2x squared minus x minus 6, quadratic style, what we want to do, we imagine in a one day, we're trying to split this into two numbers that add back to give me like this negative one. That's the principle, right? Add back to give me the negative one, but... When these two numbers that we get must multiply to give me 2 by negative 6. Before I do that, you should know how to solve this quadratic on your calculator. Some people must be saying, what calculator? Yes. So you can verify this and at least get one mark because you have the answer. 
I'm going to bring up my calculator here for the people. For the people. So, I like remember no one has seen the calculator, right? Um, always do this again, man. Boom, remove that. Um, stop screen, share screen, share the whole screen. Right, I've seen my calculator today. So, you see this? You could press, if you have the correct calculator, that is, you could press Ministry of Education. Big up yourself. You could press Mode, go to Equation, choose number 3, so that represents the quadratics, AX squared plus BX plus C, putting the values of A, B, and C, which is 2, negative 1, and negative 6, 2, negative 1, and negative 6, and this will solve the quadratic for you. So you get x is 2. If x is 2, the factor is x is minus x minus 2, right? And x is negative 3 and 2. If that's the case, the factor is 2x plus 3. And the reason I got that because if I equate this down to 0, 2x plus 3 equals 0, 2x is equal to 3, negative 3, x is equal to negative 3 and 2. So your calculator can make you see the answer before you factorize. Before you factorize, the calculator can allow you to see the answer. Right? So we know what we're working towards. Now we just want to get a little extra mark for working. That's it. Catch it? So two numbers that are to give me negative 1, but multiply to give me 12, well, we should be seen in our mind once our um, algebra is decent enough. Once our arithmetic is decent enough, we should be seeing that that number, those two numbers must be negative 4x plus 3x. Now, if you want to know how to think of this from first principles, just go and watch my, it's not a live video, it's a recorded video on quadratics. It's a video with about 42,000 views. Go and watch that, and you would be able to marinate on the how to solve a quadratic equation. So 2x squared minus 4x plus 3x minus 6. Then you factorize two at a time. So factorizing here, we put 2x into x minus 2. Because if I multiply 2x by x, I get 2x squared. If I multiply 2x by negative 2, I get negative 4x. And then I put my x minus 2 here. Once you get this, you put it back there immediately. You put it back there immediately. Ministry and National Security. Easy, my brother. Plus 3. So it's going to be 2x plus 3. x minus 2. Why is it in chat if you understand that? If you get that. This is your final answer. You collect your 2 marks and you roll out. So that was 2000, uh, that's 2020. That was 2020, Jan. Oh, I separated here, but return the next page. Um, let's take a look at Jan 2019. This is technically a quadratic again, but you don't need to whip out your full quadratic skills and try and solve this using your full quadratic skills. What you could do when you're not seeing like a plus 3 or something like that, some people thought this was like plus 0, so they work this out something. I don't know, what kind of matters? So you do, this is equal to 3 and you actually solve it. So you just factorize in all the x and you're going to go in. When you see this, don't overthink it. Factorize the x out. So you have 2x minus 9 now, right? Because x by 2x is 2x squared. x by negative 9 is negative 9x is equal to 0. And if you have two factors here being equal to 0, either, you're right, either or either x is 0, either this is 0 or this is 0, or the 2x minus 9 is equal to 0, or the 2x is equal to 9, <laughs> oh, x is equal to 9 over 2. Yeah, boy. Well, fight now. Why CX is, CX is by? So we have this as one of your answers. And this. Two answers, two marks.
Why is in the chat if you get that? And you don't forget to press like on the stream. How much likes we have on this video so far? Yeah, 92 for Jan. Like, that's cool, that's cool. Like the viewer ratio should be, the like should be more than the viewers, right? Don't forget to, if you're trying to figure out how to press like, get a turn off the like chat, press like, and then bring back up the like chat, right? Um, and you're, you're all, if you're doing your SB and you want the best SBA book on the market, the student hub that online, go to that, and you can purchase my SBA book there. 20 sample SBAs in it. It's an ebook. You can get it on your computer tonight. All right, factorize completely each of the following expressions. 1 minus 4, 8 squared. So this is a quadratic as well, but this is a special form. Anybody can tell me what we're going to apply here? What's this? This is not a quadratic. This is something we call four terms. There's a video I have on YouTube, and it's called factorization. And I show you the four main styles of factorization that comes for CXC. If you go on that video, it will help prepare yourself. All of these questions, I'm taking it from number two in the exam. Remember, your exam is one to 10 questions. Number two is where this comes in your paper two. So one minus four, eight squared, and this is called a different, not perfect square, but difference of I should be seeing that again. Nice. Get through. Good. So we have this. This is called the difference of two squares. The difference of two squares, we're going to get the square root of this and the square root of that. You can even do it if you want. Like, one of the techniques we teach is like, you take this and you find the square root of one is one, and you show them that the square root of four, eight squared. Well, the square root of four, what number? Multiply by itself, give four, two. And the square root of eight squared, h. So that's how you do that. And then you say, therefore, one minus four, eight squared is equal, and you take these two numbers and you just put them side by side, we start. So one, two, h, one, I should say terms rather than numbers, one, two, h, Put one as negative, one as positive, and that's how it works. That's how it works. That is how the thing does work right there. Um, yeah, a little blurry. I see it now. Let me see if I had a change in my quality. Quality. Look, y'all, if you've seen it, blurry, change your quality. Yeah, I change the quality and it's okay. That's just because the internet skip all day. <laughs> yeah, so it's a minute share, this and minute share that. Y'all, if it's blurry, click the three dots at the top and change the quality. You can change the quality all the way up to 720p right now. All right, change the resolution. You get you there? So. 
Let's, we have two more to go, eh? two more to go. And we outside, I'll do this one in the four terms. Let me do this one in the four terms. Before I do that, before I do May 2018, let me just do this one in the four terms. Yeah. Four terms is here. When you see in four terms, just factorize like you're doing two other times. So imagine an invisible line there and factorize this. So what's common there? A Q. A Q is here and a Q is there. So take it out into P minus Q. Once you get this, put it back one time. P minus Q. Right there. And now all you're asking yourself is what to put here, buddy. What number I should put here? This is P. So negative 3 sound good. If I put negative 3, it will multiply by that to give me positive 3. So negative 3 is the way to go here. So hit them a negative 3. And in the end, you will end up with Q minus 3, P minus Q, and that is you, right? Why isn't it chat if you understand that we numbers go anyway? But I go out all night, I hit dash. <laughs> um, and the next one, this quadratic. Last one for the road, people. Last one for the road. Um, 2x squared plus 5x minus 3 is equal to 0. If you want to solve this, 2x squared plus 5x minus 3 is equal to 0. This is a standard quadratic, as standard as it, as it gets, ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0. c is negative 3, b is 5, a is 2. So what we're going to do is split the 5 into two numbers, or split the 5x into two terms that adds back to give me 5x, ac method, or everybody's called the ac method. And when these two terms that I get here, they should multiply to give me whatever is 2 times negative 3. The factors of how we want to do this is multiply first. So 2 times negative 3 is negative 6. And now take that negative 6 and examine in your mind, examine in your mind the factors. I'm just going back because some people are asking me to go back. Right? Or they keep the politics out of the chat. So negative 6. The factors of 6 is like 1 and 6, 2 and 3. So how I can arrange this to get positive 5? The answer is if I put positive 6x and negative 1x. You all catch that? 6 take away 1 is 5. And 6 multiplied by negative 1 is negative 6, which we wanted. Now if you want a full explanation of this, go to Cohen Springer Quadratics. Just type that in YouTube. Covid spring and quadratics, and you'll watch a video full explanation break, broken down. It has been used in schools and thing, and you can bless up yourself. Um, if you see me blurry, click the three dots at the top of the video and change the resolution, change the settings. Nice. All all those topics you are asking it on the channel. So, and people use it years ago to mash up. 2x into x plus 3. You all understand what I did there? I factorize. What is common? There are two could come out of that. It's like you can squeeze out the two of them, both of them, because 2 is a factor of 2 and 2 is a factor of 6. And both of them can give us an x. So, you take all the 2x and then you just put back what's missing in the brackets. 2x by x is 2x squared. 2x by 3 is 6x. Now we're going to take this x plus 3. We'll just put it back one time. You understand? Once you get what goes in this bracket, you can just put it back there one time. And all that's left for you to do is figure out what to put here to just make this the same as that. Um, the best thing you can do is set a negative 1 there. Are you feeling that? Negative 1 by x is negative 1 x, and negative 1 by positive 3 is negative 3. Equals 0. Excuse me, real men getting time out here, but yeah, let me speak even in the chat. 2x minus 1 and x plus 3 is equal to 0. Therefore, how did I do that? Oh, wait, let me just explain that before we go. We get ready to bustle. This negative one went here. This two x went there. And this x plus three went here. 
It's like you're factorizing this, you know, but you don't need to fully understand that to be able to do it. So read comments. So we could use two and three. Now I can't use two and three because two by three, two x, you know, they use two positive, two x, positive two x and positive three x, but it will never, mul positive two by positive three is not negative six. We want a negative six. So you can use two and three. Yeah, I'll upload it afterwards so y'all could take it now watch and that people who miss it could see it and then realize that so it might be coming on tomorrow too. Shh. We save Shavir Shaviria Shaviria. Cohen the video is very bad, not legible at all. That sound like a you problem by Steve. That sound like a you problem. Alright, so once you reach this stage, you're gonna say 2x minus 1 is equal to 0. Or x plus 3 is equal to 0. You can parallel either two to make it nice. What happened? If you have two numbers being multiplied by each other, like you have this number times this number, and you say equals 0, it means one of those numbers must be 0. So in terms of factorizing, we can say either this is 0 or that is 0. Either this is 0 or that is 0. So 2x minus 1 is equal to 0. 2x is equal to 1. Bring across the 1, and x is equal to 1 over 2. I'm going live tomorrow. x plus 3 is equal to 0, so x is, it'll be in the evening sometime around this time, negative 3. So you get your two answers, and you walk away with your two marks. If you want some more information on quadratics, search Cohen Springer Quadratics. If you want some more information on factorizing, search Cohen Springer Factorizing, and you can watch my shorter videos where I go through the theory behind it. Um, I'll be coming on live tomorrow. What topic y'all want me to do? Anybody doing John exams? What topic y'all want me to do tomorrow? I'll be doing it from a past people's perspective. Eh? In the meanwhile, y'all can just follow me on Kevin Springer at Kevin Springer on Instagram to find out when I'm going live I'll post on Instagram. People are saying vectors, functions and relations. I see mostly vectors. Alright, so tomorrow we'll be doing some vectors questions. I might be live around five-ish. Five-ish, four-ish tomorrow. Vectors. Look out. So we'll be doing some vectors practicing. Gears up. And my uh, maths exam is on the 19th. Like make a post on that too. You know, always need a reminder to when they see exam in 10 days. Then you just want to start studying. Who is Peach? Oh, you know, we outside. Oh, probably shouldn't have asked me that. Vectors tomorrow, people.